Hey guys, so I decided that, oh it's dark, you can't really see me. Um, I decided that I'm going to start vlogging, um, just so you see my day by day stuff. Um, I just uploaded my video um, today, my first one, my intro to my infertility, and I am so overwhelmed with um, you guys are commenting and texting me and supporting me and I was so scared to be to start doing this that the feeling that I'm getting from all of you and your support is means the world to me. Um, yeah, I'm just so excited. My phone is still being blown up as we speak <laughs> and I couldn't be more happy. Um, I'm having a hard time getting back to everyone. Um, but I will. So I just want to say thank you, and um, I'm going to be vlogging here and there, just some stuff. So, yeah, um, thank you again. I love you guys. So I'm doing research for my next video, and I think I'm going to do it on um, different resources that there are out there. Um, yeah, I have a few books I want to mention. On the computer, and I'm re-watching Pretty Little Liars. I'm on episode two. I've watched it all, but since it's over for the summer, I figured why not just watch it all again. <laughs> um, I have to leave soon to go pick up the kids from school. Um, if you don't know, I have exchange students. Um, yeah, I don't have kids. Watching Mandy's first pregnancy vlog. With Bobby. Say hi. Say hi. It's a baby. Oh, don't pull it. There she is. Sister on the big screen. Go watch her. I'll link it down below. Aubrey wanted the camera back out. And then she said, we'll call you. <laughs> what do you want to do? That's your insurance approved. So she calls the next day. She says, oh, you can stop the car for You want to show them the case? Are you serious? Ooh. I know a month ago when I wanted to go. Okay, so I'm about to make, this is my mom. Hi, mom. Hi. I'm about to make my first OB appointment. Well, not first ever, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Dr. Varouche. 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 Varouche is on fire. It's 5 12. They're probably closed, but I've been needing to call all day. So. Hi, um, can I make an appointment with you? Or are you the answering service? Okay, thank you. Bye. This is the answering service. They'll be back about 9 o'clock. This is how I talk because I'm so boring. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do appointments. <sighs> well, that's my fault because I was supposed to do it all day and <sighs> I'm slacking. Part of me just doesn't want to go. So, you know. But now we're going to go into Walmart, get a few things. So, bye-bye. Good morning, guys. I... I tried to call the doctor um, yesterday, as you saw. Um, so I'm going to try and call again and make an appointment. I also thought that I would call my doctor in Louisiana and try to get my medical records to see um, if I can get that when I go visit Louisiana in about a week. Um, yeah, don't mind my natural hair. I just got out of the shower. Um, yeah, so here we go. See what they say. <clears throat> Maybe they're not open yet. It's nine. It's like ten after nine. Hi, I'd like to make an appointment. Um, I'm, I'll be a new patient. Okay. Still on hold. 
I'm a little worried because I have an HMO insurance and from working in the medical field um, in the past, I know that HMOs can be very difficult. So we'll see. Six minutes later, I'm still on hold. Thursday or Friday? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm, that's far. Okay, I'll do Thursday. All right. Okay, I'm just dealing with um, troubles getting pregnant and I just need to get checked. I just moved here from Louisiana, so I kind of wanted to get a second opinion from my doctor there, so yeah. Um, well, I've been trying for three years, and um, the doctor before kind of told me that I wasn't ovulating correctly, and he put me on Clomid, but I've been on it for a year, so <laughs> I just need to know, like, you know, just a second opinion to see what someone else thinks. Okay, so I have an appointment on Thursday the 17th at 2.45, and now I'm going to look up the number to my doctor in Louisiana to see if I can get my medical records. But that won't make sense because um, I'm going to see the doctor here before I go on vacation to Louisiana. Let's see. The reason why I want it is because um, Brandon got checked there. And um, when they gave me the results, they said it was low, but they didn't seem concerned. So I kind of want the levels to, I want to have them on hand so I can tell my doctor here. Let's see. Hi, um, I'm calling because I was wondering if I can get my medical records. I moved out of state. Yay, okay, so they're going to mail me a release form to get my records and then I'm going to pick it up when I'm in Louisiana. They want to mail it, but it's um, like 5 to $10 depending on how much weight, how much it weighs. To mail it so I'll just pick it up and then my next appointment with my doctor if I have one I don't know what's going to happen but I will have all the information from the past okay so I just finished filming my a little video to put up today and um, just some a couple resources for infertility and um, things to read and stuff like that so I think I'm going to go edit and upload it right away okay I wanted to show you how professional my setup is I have my husband's nightstand moved to the foot of the bed. And I have my little makeup box, caboodle, whatever, and my little mini tripod, and then my kitchen table chair, and then my little background, and I move my TV, <laughs> and all my windows are open in my room. Yeah, but today is his day off. It's Saturday, and we're kind of just hanging out at home. Okay, so I know this has nothing to do with infertility or anything, but I have Aubrey for a few days, and she saw the camera and wanted it out of the case. Hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> today is Tuesday. Mommy left yesterday for work. And today we are, it's about 1 o'clock, we're just now up and ready and we're going to go to McDonald's and eat some french fries and go shopping. She sees herself in the mirror 
And then we're going to go to Starbucks and go to Daddy and Uncle Brand's work. And go to your basketball game, huh? Bye. Bye? Say bye. So I guess we're going to be vlogging today since Aubrey decided that's what we're going to do, huh? Mmm, so healthy. Aubrey. Aubrey Jean. Aubrey. Look at my cute lunch date. Oh. She's loving her french fries, huh? You like the french fries? We are in the Walmart parking lot and Aubrey here poo pooed. And I said, Aubrey, did you poop? And she said, poo poo. <laughs> Huh. Is that what she did? Say poo poo. Ah ha ha ha. Ah. <laughs> did you take your shoe off? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Well, I'm kind of a psycho aunt, and I'll probably be a psycho mom, so all of you that are watching this need to help me not be so psycho, but I have this mirror down. So when I'm driving, I could see Aubrey. I just like to see her. <laughs> Hi! And she was eating french fries on the way here. Huh. Okay, we're gonna go shop. We're on our way to take Aubrey home. Auntie sad. I'm gonna miss you. Even though I'll see you every day, but still. Okay, so I'm on my way to the doctor, and I'm feeling nervous, and uh, I don't know. I know it's just an OB appointment, normal, you know, but um, I'm starting the whole process with all of this infertility and all that all over again, and I'm feeling the same way I did over a year ago when I started this before, so I don't know. I'm just kind of nervous for the unknown. I have butterflies in my stomach and I just dropped off Aubrey and I get sad when I drop her off. <laughs> I don't know, she's not my kid, but um, we have such a good time together when I have her. So it's just, I love Aubrey time. So, but I'm on my way. It's gonna take me about 20 minutes to get there. And I'm going by myself. Brandon asked if he, if I wanted him to go with me. I told him no. okay. I feel like this one's just going to be kind of a boring, not important appointment. Could be wrong, but I did have a dream last night that I went to this appointment and as I was waiting for the doctor to come in the room, I um, used the ultrasound machine myself and gave myself an ultrasound and um, somehow I knew how to take pictures on it and everything, but um, I took a picture of my of the ultrasound there's a baby so I ran out of the waiting room or the you know the room I was in and I said is this for real oh my gosh do you see this and the doctor's like yeah you're pregnant and I was just I could feel the emotion so real like I was so excited and crying with excitement and I don't know I guess I just give myself a lot of wishful thinking because I'm definitely not pregnant so <sighs> yep here we go going to the doctor so talking just about some questions I have. Um, who, who knows? <laughs> Alright, so I just want to update you guys on my appointment yesterday. Um, I was kind of not in the best spirits after my appointment. Um, there wasn't really any bad news, but I just get really emotional and drained. Just 
going through all this. I mean, I know it was just a simple appointment and there's probably more stuff to come my way with all this, but, but pretty much what they said was that I look, my cervix looks fine and um, <clears throat> they're going to do a H, I think it's called an HCG test. It's kind of like a dye test to make sure my tubes are clear and not clogged. And um, I'm scheduled on May 1st for a pelvic ultrasound. And um, what else? Well, they want Brandon to get checked again. And she also told me about these told me about these vitamins for Brandon that are supposed to help his count. So um, she said just look them up on Amazon. And I found them. They're like $28, which isn't much. So I think we're going to try that and see if that works. Because I've read a lot of good reviews on those vitamins. So maybe that's the trick. Um, and they also said just for me to um, start taking prenatals again and just staying healthy. And um, I'm not sure when my... HCG dye test is they have to get authorization from my insurance so yeah it's like I don't know what time it is it's like 4 15 and I'm just now getting out of my room I showered earlier and everything I've just been kind of mm, just in the funk and yeah I don't really know how to describe how I'm feeling but I'm just gonna be open and honest that I'm not in the best of moods and I'm feeling like poop. Just, bleh. I don't know. There was no bad news yesterday. Nothing bad happened. There's no one saying you're not going to have a baby, but I don't know. I just get really down, which I'm trying to be really positive through this situation, but sometimes it's just... Some days are harder than others, and today is one of them. So, that's a little quick update. Faith purchased. Thank you very much. Good. Over the moon for mommy. <laughs> what do you think, Mandy? I think it's a good purchase, and I think that you could put a tutu and a bow if it's a girl. Yeah. And, wait, where am I going? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then there's this one. Oh no, it totally uh -oh. I just got cool lime refresher in my crotch. I got it, I got it. <laughs> You're refreshed on your crotch. <laughs> I'm refreshed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like I'm in my pants. <laughs> and then this one says, off to grandma. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? I want the baby to wear it now. <laughs>